Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed Prime Minister. Thank you very much for joining us. Three years ago, uh, when we conceived of the notion of trying to host uh, an event like this in Europe, uh, we had just done it in the US, and we weren't quite sure if we could pull it off here. But now, after having done this for the third time, I'm get, beginning to get some comfort that we can do this here more regularly. So or I hope over the next two days, you'll get to hear from about 35 thought leaders in the room and debate with about 400 others who are going to join us in the audience. Uh, often I get asked, what is Zeitgeist about? What is this Zeitgeist thing? Uh, we have a tool at Google which also tells you the most popular searches, which is sort of the spirit of the times. So last week, the most popular searches were on the who won the Survivor TV show and Amy Winehouse and Britney Spears. So unfortunately, unfortunately, to the next two days are not about those three people. Right? Uh, but the next, next three days, uh, next two days are about the spirit of our times. And I was trying to think about what's the best way to encapsulate what we're going to do over the next two days. And actually, the next two days are about people. Uh, there are 6.6 .6 billion people around the world. And we're going to spend the first half of this morning talking about how this is no longer a world where we have a few superpowers dictating what's going to happen in the world. But this is about the populations in Brazil, Russia, India, China beginning to consume. It's about their natural resources and how technology and infrastructure has a role to play in it. So we'll hear from Mo Ibrahim, Sunil Mittal, and a whole bunch of other people, Jamie Misik, Luis Furlan, who will talk about how this other part of the world is beginning to, beginning to become relevant and important. The challenges that this brings to us, how do we manage the balance of trying to preserve what we have loved in the past, and how do we make sure we don't throttle the future? It is about 1.3 billion people who are connected to the internet. This is no longer just the digital native. This is everybody else in this room. And the way I like to think about it, we're a generation in transition. And it's very often, it's very hard to see the transition when you're in it. It's very easy to be outside and see a transition. It's very easy to go, out, go back and say, seven years ago, oh my god, I always knew that we would never have videotapes. We would always be looking at DVDs. But when people were going through the transition, it was very hard for them to sit down and see that this was going to happen. So we are the transition generation. We are 1.3 billion people who are connected around the world. Now what that is doing is it is creating both a whole host of opportunities and a series of challenges. You know, we have challenges in the area of intellectual property or copyright. How do we find a way of making sure that creativity continues to be motivated, creativity continues to be stimulated? At the same time, how do we make sure that we don't throttle it? So we're going to hear from a lot of people in the intellectual property world and the copyright world about how to keep, keep powering this momentum that we have going forward. It is about people who are leaders, not just leaders in this room, but leaders who have decided to take an idea and build great businesses out of. Very often, you, know, you run into situations where you're asked, how come the US is so much more entrepreneurial compared to people in Europe? And today, hopefully, you'll get a chance to meet some of the leading entrepreneurs of Europe and see we are as innovative, as sort of uh, entrepreneurial over here as people are in the US. We just don't talk about it enough. So hopefully, we'll talk about it this afternoon. Uh, it's about people in the sense it's about you, it's about me, it's about everybody else out there. Uh, for the first time, we decided rather than just have a debate between all of you and us, we actually have brought a bunch of users who you will see both tonight and tomorrow morning. These are users of products and companies who will get a chance to sit and interact with CEOs. So it won't be us talking to the CEOs. It will be users of their products who will sit and say, here's what I love about your business. Here's what I think you should change. So we've gone out and canvassed the world to see some of the most power users in certain companies, and we'll have a chance to put the CEOs on the hot seat and hear from these users. So this is all about people. And I hope over the next two days, you have a fantastic time. Although I was saying to somebody earlier, somebody walked up to me last night and said, great event, great job. I said, we haven't even started. So I hope, uh, I hope you still maintain the sentiment at the end of tomorrow. Uh, we have a lot of action, a lot of fun for you over the next two days. The one hope I hope I have is that after watching the video, when everybody goes back, you can go back inspired and want to be part of this change. You will not hear from a lot of Google people. Uh, this is not about us. This is about you. This is about having you interact with each other, having great ideas come out of this forum. It is about having great ideas from our thought leaders. And it's about having fun. Now, what better place than the UK to host this for us? Because you know, Google has always found the UK to be a very, very good, friendly environment. Uh, I was reading a statistic. The UK now is further ahead in the, than the US in the proportion of digital advertising that is done in this market versus any other part of the world. So our business has really been benefited from the positive environment we have in the UK, the fact that there's a lot of entrepreneurship, that's a lot of stuff that happens here, which is sort of like the way I see it is the UK takes a late start, but once it gets going, 
it leapfrogs where the other markets are. So that's why we're very glad that we're doing this out of here. Um, and in that context, you know, what better person to talk about globalization and the impact of technology and how that is going to change the world the way we see it, how that is going to impact globalization than, than I guess, my co-host from a country perspective and our esteemed prime minister.